Hello, Dad. Where would you like me to sit? You could sit right there. Good morning, John. We were having dinner the other night with this, our dad, and I found out about a habit of yours when you were, what, how old? It wasn't, it wasn't a habit. I could stop any time I wanted to. It was an after-school ritual when I was eight or nine or ten. You know, a long day on the school bus, come in to the kitchen, get out some white bread, Wonder Bread, and put two or three teaspoons of sugar on the bread and then just eat it. Crunch, crunch. It's been a long time since since you've done that. I've, well, yeah. Do you think that it's going to be familiar if we do this again? Oh, I can feel the crunch right now, but uh, I don't know that it's going to be a good thing. Well, I really want to try it. We've got some classic white bread. This is pretty doughy, gooey stuff. So make make it for me, Dad. Other people do this, where you just like take the sugar and put it in your mouth as a kid. You do it because you can. No, because kids now have actual candy. I don't know how I did this. I'm sure I didn't do like tap my finger. So that's one spoonful. <laughs> I did it alone, okay? My mother wasn't there. My brothers weren't there. Did you think you were getting away with something? No, I just, it was a snack. I don't remember drinking a lot of sodas, and they're like can right, of soda sure. is like a third sugar. It's soda bread. That's different. <laughs> and then you just sort of balance the sugar on the bread carefully. <laughs> it's not nearly as thick as what I used to eat. Well, then well, we got to be authentic. <laughs> we should put more on then. Oh, wow, that's a lot. you got to shake it so it gets in the nooks and crannies. Yeah. yeah. Are you going to do this? Yeah. Three, two, one. Mmm. <laughs> There's that crunch. There's that I crunch. I remember it. It's not as bad as I thought it would That's be. That's not bad at all. Oh my god. Do I have to eat the whole thing? Do you want to eat the whole thing? I could. You already ate a lot of it. Look how much he's already eaten. Do I have to eat the whole thing? He's like 90% done? <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, let's put it down. I also have another segment of the video. A bunch of people have said nice things about my book, but I don't feel right reading them out loud myself. I cut them out and put them on little pieces of yeah. paperboard for right. my dad to read. Led by an earnestly flawed bisexual heroine with direction and commitment issues. Sounds like all the young people I know. <laughs> Coupled with an abundant generosity of spirit. This Read is timely and sorely needed. Highly recommended. Funny, thrilling, and absolute blast to read. I knew Hank would be good at this, but I didn't know he would be this good on his first try. I think I will be less good on my second try, if that's any consolation. <laughs> this is the book my teen self would have loved and my adult self immediately obsessed over. By turns joyful, devastating, personal, zeitgeisty, modern, classic, fast-paced, and thoughtful, an absolutely remarkable thing blew me away. I read it. It's a good book. That's a good blurb. I'll put that in there. <laughs> I wanted to eat a bunch of sugar bread to excuse me spending this entire video promoting things. We're also going on tour. Yeah. All the new tour information is up now at hankgreen.com. They're apparently selling pretty fast already. Oh, wow. And then lastly, PodCon is happening again. You were at PodCon. I was. Gonna come again? What was your review of PodCon? Was, I went to PodCon. It was a good it PodCon. It was a good con. <laughs> PodCon was great. Mama Green is coming, and Mama Green doesn't like to go to big conferences. <laughs> well, Mrs. Mrs. Green Catherine is coming too. Yeah. So all the Mrs. Greens will be there. And if you want to learn more about PodCon, uh, you can go to podcon.com. Our crowdfunding campaign is live now, and we need people to sign up. So if you're not going to see me on tour, maybe you can see me at PodCon, which will be January 19th and 20th in Seattle, Washington. Have you been transported back to your youth? I was, man. I am, with that crunch. You know, I was making so much fun of you, but this isn't bad. Yeah. It's like a friggin' Danish. Yeah, it makes, it makes you think, maybe I should eat fewer Danishes. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> John, I'll see you on Tuesday. <laughs> I don't know how that's going to edit together, but not well, a, not into four minutes. My mentor said to me, the more you cut, the better it gets. It's true. That's the whole thesis of Vlogbrothers. <laughs> Did you finish yours? Hell yes. <laughs>